What is your biggest fear these days when you go to work and when you leave the work end of the shift? What is the biggest fear you have for this COVID-19? You know, I, I think COVID has really just magnified my concern for the system and, and it's this. When I first started in medicine nearly 30 years ago now, I went to a shift and I felt like I had the time and the resources to thoroughly care for patients. When I walk into the emergency department now, I know that I am going to have to do the minimum in some cases just to keep up with the volume. Sometimes I'm juggling 20 patients at once, some who are critically ill, others who really literally need a sliver removed. They legitimately need a sliver removed because if I don't remove that today, then tomorrow they might come back with a localized infection in their finger or their arm. So my biggest fear is can I, with the resources I have at hand, give thorough and the kind of care that I am proud of to each patient that comes to the department. That's my biggest fear. But you know, if I may take the liberty, I, I want to build on something that Deb was talking about. And that's, that's the isolation maybe that we as healthcare workers feel. Mm -hmm. And I think if we're going to combat burnout, and burnout is very real, for the first time ever, the Ontario Medical Association and the Canadian Medical Association have established burnout task force. So that gives you a sense of how big the problem is. Mm -hmm. But often we as care providers, we are strong people by our very nature. And we have only become stronger working in this system and, and you know, rising to the challenges that have been put before us day in, day out. So we are strong. We have also learned to put other people's needs ahead of our own in the moment and sometimes for the distance. And so we're not very good at expressing our own pain, at asking for help, at reaching out. And you know, I truly have come to believe that life is about the little things and that membership and buy-in is one individual at a time. And so I think when we're looking at tackling burnout, we need to start looking at each interaction as absolutely paramount. So when someone calls me, I'm the District 7 Ontario Medical Association Chair for the area. And if some doctor calls me, even if the problem seems small, they called me for a reason. Mm -hmm. And so no matter what they call me with, I do what I can to help them. And I think that as organizations, we need to understand that our organizations are built of individuals. And if the individuals are strong, our healthcare system is strong. Mm -hmm. So we've come to an era where administrators need to follow what I came to learn as the first principle of good healthcare leadership. And that's above all, value your human resource. And many other things will fall in place thereafter. So that's what we need to do. We need to value one another every step of the way as best we can.